As twin flames, it is essential that we learn who Yeshua our King is. We will carry out the conquest of earth as light being kings in alliance with him. We need to know and understand the Bible just as Shaul, Paul, who could recite from memory the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. The 144,000 will enforce Jehovah's Torah on the inhabitants of earth, and in doing so we must know the Torah. If we refuse, we end up in the lake of fire. We don't want that to happen to you or anyone else. Watch all our videos to get a complete knowledge of Yeshua the King and the Torah. Push the like button and you will help get Yeshua's true message to the world. And remember to tell your friends of our teachings. Hebrews 1.7 And to the messengers indeed he says, Who is making his messengers spirits and his servants flames of fire? We now have five complete Hebrew language copies of the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament, from Matthew 1 to Revelation 26. The wording in these ancient copies is identical even though the copies were discovered in different nations and obviously were written by different scribes. The copies did not contain any additions which occur in the Greek translations or any alias names for the Father Jehovah, alias God, or the Son Yeshua, alias Jesus. Also, the law is not substituted for the word Torah in the Hebrew copies. Jehovah's laws are in the Torah. Revelation 12, 1, 2. And a great sign was seen in the Shamayim, a woman clothed in the sun, with the moon at her feet, and at her head a crown of twelve stars. And being pregnant, she cried out in labor, and in pain to give birth. In Isaiah's accurate prophecy of Israel becoming a nation in one day, Israel is referred to as a woman giving birth. By United Nations declaration, Israel became a nation May 14, 1948. This was not an important date on the pagan Gentile calendar, but a very significant date on Jehovah's calendar. It was the seventh Shabbat of the counting of the Omer, or 49 days after the yearly offering of first fruits as required in Jehovah's Torah. Deuteronomy 26, 2. Isaiah 66, 7, 8. Before she labored, she gave birth. Before a pain came to her, she was delivered of a male child. Who has heard of the like of this? Who has seen the like of these? Is the land brought forth in one day? Is a nation born at once? For as soon as Zion labored, she gave birth to her children. Revelation 12.3 And another sign was seen in the Shamayim. And see, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his heads. Revelation 12.4 and his tail draws a third of the stars of the Shamayim and throws them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child as soon as it was born. Revelation 12, 5, 6. And she bore a male child who was to shepherd all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught away to Elohim and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by Elohim to be nourished there. 1,260 days. This is what was seen at the birth of Yeshua as the star Regulus, the king, was in the midsection of the constellation of Virgo, the virgin, with the moon under her feet. You can read about Yeshua's amazing birth in Ernest Martin's book titled The Star That Astonished the World. Martin shows through planetary movement of the star of Bethlehem that Yeshua was born in a sukkah, a tent or tabernacle, on the high Sabbath of the first day of the seven-day Feast of Sukkot, September 26, 3 B.C., and not on December 25th. After the three Hebrew astronomers journeyed from Babylon bringing the prophet Daniel's treasure to the one-and-a-half-year-old Yeshua, Joseph and Miriam escaped Herod's wrath and fled to Egypt, Matthew 2. In Revelation 12:2, the two witnesses prophecy for 1,260 days. In Revelation 12:6, the woman, Israel, goes into her place in the wilderness, and she is nourished there 1,260 days. This is similar to the Exodus narrative when ten tribes of Israel escaped Egypt. Revelation 12:7-8, and there came to be fighting in the Shamayim, Michael, 
Michael and his messengers fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his messengers fought, but they were not strong enough, nor was a place found for them in the Shamayim any longer. Revelation 12.9 And the great dragon was thrown out, that serpent of old being called the devil and Satan, who leads the whole world astray, was cast out onto the earth, and his messengers were thrown out with him. Revelation 12.10 And I heard a loud voice in the Shamayim saying, Now is come the deliverance and the power and the reign of our Elohim and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers, who accused them before Elohim day and night, is thrown down. Revelation 12, 11, 12 And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their witness. And they did not love their lives even until death. Because of this rejoice, O Shamayim, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil came down to you having great wrath, knowing that he has little time. Revelation twelve thirteen fourteen. And when the dragon saw that he was thrown to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle to fly into the wilderness to her place, where she is nourished there for time and times and half a time, away from the presence of the serpent. The woman, Israel, is given two wings of a great eagle, and she flies into the wilderness where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time, which is three and a half years, assuming a time is a year, and times are two years, and a half a time is a half a year. So added together, they are three and a half years. The woman is protected from Satan for three and a half years. The book of Daniel also mentions these time periods, with similar lengths to link with this prophecy. Revelation twelve fifteen sixteen, And out of the mouth of the serpent spewed water like a river after the woman, to cause her to be swept away by the river. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed the river which the dragon spewed out of his mouth. A river described here could be the dragon's armies. This time the earth swallows the armies. At the Red Sea crossing, it was the water that swallowed Pharaoh's armies. Revelation 12:17. And the dragon was enraged over the woman, and he went to fight the remnants of her seed, those guarding the commands of Jehovah, and those possessing the witness of Yeshua Messiah. As some of the world's leading Bible scholars, our goal is to reveal a truthful understanding and translation of the Bible which is free of man-made religion. Join us for our next video, and please hit the like button and subscribe. Donate and help us get Yeshua's true message out to the world.